have noticed, but algorithms are increasingly used in parole and sentencing decisions. He wanted to know, how is this score calculated? It's a commercial black box. The company refused to have its algorithm be challenged in open court. But ProPublica, an investigative nonprofit, audited that very algorithm with what public data they could find and found that its outcomes were biased and its predictive power was dismal, barely better than chance, and it was wrongly labeling black defendants as future criminals at twice the rate of white criminals and white defendants. So consider this case. This woman was late to picking up her god sister from a school in Broward County, Florida, running down the street with a friend of hers, and they spotted an unlocked kid's bike and a scooter on a porch and foolishly jumped on it. As they were speeding off, a woman came out and said, hey, that's my kid's bike. They dropped it, they walked away, but they were arrested. She was wrong, she was foolish, and she was also just 18. She had a couple of juvenile misdemeanors. Meanwhile, that man had been arrested for shoplifting in Home Depot, $85 worth of stuff, a similar petty crime. But he had two prior armed robbery convictions. But the algorithm scored her as high risk and not him. Two years later, ProPublica found that she had not reoffended. It was just hard to get a job for her with a record. He, on the other hand, did reoffend and is now serving an eight-year prison term for a later crime. Clearly, we need to audit our black boxes.